Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slice and Dice. God, I love this game, but let's not play classic mode today. Let's check out one of the alternate modes. Classic is just the way the game was meant to be played, but there's so many to choose from, like shortcut, choose party, loot, raid, generate, alternate, nightmare, dream, level, debug, and fight. And they're all different. For instance, choose party. We can random a party, but you can have duplicates of your heroes. And in fact, I know that there are achievements in this game for just like winning with the same like color. So we could roll, maybe not thieves, but you could roll like, where is it? Five clumsies. And then maybe level them up to five. Uh, we could do five spades, <laughs> five primroses, five cats. What would you do with five cats? But I think what I want is not a choose party run. I want to play uh, Generate, which I think is going to be a very interesting play style. All heroes are randomly generated. My friend Chris played a little bit of Slice and Dice the other day and played Generate. So I saw him do it and I thought, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Generate hard mode because I ain't about normal mode. I'm OK taking a little bit of curse. Probably not unfair. I mean, I got to you know play around with Generate a little bit. Cats all the way down. Maybe we can randomly generate a cat. Um, basic RNG greens. We'll do it completely random. Generate hard RNG. We have R1.9F1, who has a heal and a heal and restore. We have Y1F50, O181F, Y156C, and N1A06 with leaf that allows you to boost and two damage fierce single use. Single use targets flee if they have two or less HP after hitting. Very interesting. Everyone has their own unique random effects. We've got a little bit of uh, cantripping here on orange and we've got to choose a starting curse, unfortunately. But the level ups will also be randomness, I believe. And we're going to try to make a run work. We're going to try to make a uh, synergy work between these characters, I guess. Die the last round heroes replace all sides with blank stasis. Well, if you never die, that's not a problem. One kill. All monsters upon death, all allies become immune to damage this turn. Very interesting. So each turn you can only kill one person. Uh, early curses, we could choose tier one curses, which are not that bad. Um, but I think monster column one is not terrible. We could probably do that. Yeah, we have no blues. We only have one red, so magic is not going to be super important for us. But uh, maybe we can make it work. I will. Uh, we got to kill the thorns, which means we need someone with shield. I'm realizing we don't have anyone with shield except for you. So <laughs> I guess you, you can only shield yourself. I guess we could kill the goblin, I guess. I suppose. Thorn is going to kill one of my creatures, my units, though. I have no idea what to do about this. I might just die immediately. You know, I guess here's the thing. We're gonna, we're all going to die someday. All right, first fight, easy. And now we can level up. N2 F33 only gets a shield cleave. But they get the effect of uh, granite they can tank two hits because they have individual inner HP. Or we can go from Y1 to Y2. Target here can use their dice again. Two damage, one damage cleave chain, one damage to all enemies. Times two if they shares a keyword with the previous dice you use. I like that. Oh, it's not you, it's you who's leveling up. Okay, I mean, sure. You still keep your uh, target here can use their dice again ability. And this is just going to be completely random every encounter. <laughs> we'll see if we can uh, engineer a victory here. I guess just keep rerolling. It seems like the generate heroes, a lot of them generate with a lot of X's, which is maybe a little unfortunate. You know what? Cleave? Cleave. Kill. 
kill. And now there's only one. He's not fleeing, though. I guess we didn't have enough HP for that, but that's okay. Now we're back up to full health. Bone Charm, Wand of Wand. Replace the middle side with one damage, single use, inflict single use. We can make the enemy single use or no HP penalty when defeated. Defeated. I'm gonna go for a random item. Add single use and plus one pip to the right sides. No one has a right side except for you, so go ahead. <laughs> I didn't even notice that this was one damage. Um, not a very good item for us right now, but maybe later it'll become a little bit better. It's just four archers and one rat. Can we really not walk around the rat to hit the archers? Okay, I guess. I guess we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Slowly killing rats. You know what? It's two mana, I can kill you. Yeah, a lot of X's. O2 and N2. 1B9 and 4B4. Devoid, kill all enemies with two or less HP for a blank and two damage. Interesting. Uh, you have Shield 1, Repel, Rampage, Rescue, and Revive 2. Or our Thief Analog can gain an X to gain mana, have one cantrip, and Shifter. This side has a random extra keyword changes each turn. Okay. I don't... I guess we could get, like, Poison... Uh, cleave, chain, there's a lot of keywords in the game. There's like hundreds, so that could be very funny. Let's give it a shot. He's got a lot of health now, too. It could be really bad if it gives us bad keywords, but it could also give us really interesting, funny ones. Yeah, like inflict death. Hyena I've never heard of. That's a new one. This one has cleanse. <laughs> Probably not super effective. Um... This actually does kill the wolf, so we'll take that. I'll take the mana. And we'll take Cleave Chain. Nothing else has cleave, so we're not going to be able to get the chain effect, unfortunately. But you can flee. Smack you. Get some mana. I guess I'll burst you. You don't play a ton of agent, I'm guessing. I've only seen agent like twice. I don't know Agent that well. It's actually a pretty good turn. So we want to do cleave times two damage, two damage and mana, two healing and two mana. Smack, smack, smack. Plus one pip to the rightmost side. Plus one to incoming healing. I mean, no one has a rightmost side, so I'm going to go for a random item. Replace the top side with one damage ranged duplicate. You know? Sure, it gives you something to do. Or maybe we put this on the medic so that on turn one they can actually attack, maybe. It's not huge. Oh, God. Freaking rolled middle. It's not a huge value, but it's something. Self-regen, like regen, but hits me instead of the target. Yo, that's pretty good. Quad uses a lot of synergies. I know that that's one of Hyena, or not Hyena's, that's one of the agent's uh, die faces. I've seen that one before. He has Shifter, and then he has Quad use, but I, I haven't played with him that much. I may have had him once on my phone. Well, we rolled a lot of X's on that one, unfortunately, but... Get out of here. Smack him. I have no idea either. This is lightning bugs. Okay, thank you. I'm not just taking crazy pills like, what the hell's hyena? Except for an animal. Well, it's actually like a pretty good turn. R2.82D with balance. One damage to all enemies, heal one to all allies. Or Y2.859 with Bloodlust Deathwish. 
It's not bad. Also, this is not bad. Like a heal and a shield, a little bit of mana gain, a little bit of cleanse. I think I'll uh, go for that. Also, very few X's, and I like that. This is fine. R2 actually looks playable. Yeah, R2 looks a lot better. R2, it is you. Good, good, good. Gotta kill that war chief. I guess we're gonna make him flee, so we'll, we're, we're, we should be fine. And then just end turn. We're gonna ally one boost. I guess, hold up. What if you boost? And then I guess we can do a little bit of additional damage. We use the X and the one pip from R2 to, to make leaf happen. Look, I need some new people. <laughs> Longbow, replace the top and bottom sides with two damage ranged or ash. Add enduring to the middle sides. Keywords remain when the side is replaced if possible. Ash, I believe could have some pretty cool synergies. Keywords remain when the side is replaced. Do you think that would work on Shifter? Like every turn we would get a new keyword that stacks? Look, this is the better item, Longbow. I think Ash is more interesting, but I wanna know if it actually stacks the keywords. I don't think so, but it could work. Replace Y2.EB with a generated hero? Are we just gonna randomize a random character, I guess? You became Y2.DEC with one damage cleave chain, two damage steel, two damage, and four damage. I feel like it's a better unit because it's just more damage. Hey, I'm Ash. Sorry, I was hypnotized on the phone. It's bad, says Ash and Ran. <laughs> yes, that's me. Hello. Shifter Enduring Flurry. Plus one pip for each time I have been used this turn. So we want a cantrip into that, I guess. Interesting. Um, shield three is the best you can do. One damage kills multiple units. And... This gets a kill. All right, well. Oh, we gotta do it like this. And then smack. And then block. And then I guess we can burst. They rolled middle, huh? No, they didn't. They just do two weaken, I suppose. You're both hitting the same unit, huh? Well, and you have three weaken? Man, that sucks. You're not gonna be able to do that much, are you? Well, it is what it is. Two units are gonna be basically worthless. Although that's quartz dead. We only need one more damage. All right, now you know what? Oh, we got it. I forgot that that's actually a pretty good, uh, like, spell blade ability there. Sarcophagus! What? <laughs> one damage, inflict, exert, single use. On pick, gain a random tier zero hero. It's coffin. That's what this is, it's freaking coffin. I mean, inflict, exert is not that bad. Do we want another unit? I, maybe? I'm doing it. Y0.617, hello. And we'll just, we'll give you this, I guess. And I don't know, give you this, two damage. I don't know, that seems weird. Sure. Inflict exert would be really nice to roll it. Self repel. What? Oh, I can't even read it. Like repel, but hits me instead of the target. Self repel. Mm. 
I mean, it straight up kills the knoll. So even though it's a one use only thing, I like it. We'll take the block. Does this get a kill on this knoll? Let's see. It does, so we'll keep that. So keep, 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 reroll these. All right, well, I think we can keep everyone alive with this. That's nice. That's nice. Because if I hit you, it only does... Why is it doing so much to the... No I guess Repel goes around the shield? That's interesting. It doesn't, like, change anything about this, but it's interesting. This is the AI-generated army run 12 units I fight 20. I mean, if I could roll lots of coffins, I would find that to be very hilarious. This go this boy, this guy, is gonna summon two bones. I rolled six X's. Not a big fan. I mean, I like it just so that we have something to do. Yeah, because we're not rolling very well on this turn. Literally, this is the best we can do. <laughs> can we do eight damage? God, I hope so. Names? I'm not giving people names. Their names are perfect. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He's already dead. Perfect. We finally rolled Inflict Exert, which makes the enemies take the next turn off. But... You know what? That'll work. I guess we can use it on the bones. Self-Repel applies to the Null because it's an attack, so you're targeting the Null, not the teammate. Self-Repel means anything targeting you got repelled, so... The uh, O2 attacked, self-repel triggered, the Knoll was the only thing hitting him, so the Knoll took two damage. Actually, the uh, boss also lost one point of armor. Add stasis to all sides, corruption. Add evil and plus one pip to all heal, self-heal sides, evil if I save a hero, I die. Inner strength, removes red and purple keywords. This would actually remove evil, but we have to only pick one. We don't have pain. We don't have any, like, other negative keywords. It would remove Inflict Exert. Um, inner Strength can be really good, because it can, on a Berserker, remove pain. But I don't think we want either of these. I'll just take a random. All heroes get one more inventory space, sure. Side cannot change. So I like this, because single use doesn't actually work anymore. So we get to use that repeatedly. Um, we could also put it on Shifter, so that Shifter never changes. So, like, we could do plus one pip. But it, it'll it just two, it'll just do two damage. That's not what I'm looking for. No, 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 no. I like this. Add stasis to the single use. Um, you can keep it. All right, end turn. Is there any negative to letting the enemies flee? Lightning Bug says no, except for satisfaction. That is correct. Although you do get an achievement for letting them flee. There's an achievement for letting a barrel roll away. <laughs> That's a fun one. Dude, cantrip, please hit the graves. We're gonna have a lot of bones in a second. I'm just taking any damage I can, really. Now you didn't roll it, thanks. I guess you do want to kill the bones, so... Smack. Smack. Single use on stasis combo on R2, the two mana's pretty good. You're not wrong, but... Shifter enduring single use squared. This side has a random... No. Other keywords see colored two as four. You're not wrong, there's probably a reason to do that, but we, we only have magic on you anyways. Why don't I not take that? We should take that. Other keywords see a colored two as a four. I don't think this does anything. 
Well, there's only one grave left. There are... F you summoned two bones, you rolled middle. I should have focused that grave instead. He's gonna summon two more bones. We're getting overwhelmed by bones. Although those are really good rolls. That's a really good roll as well. That's a really good roll. Okay, so. Good? Good. All right, actually we're fine. It turns out we killed all the bones. All heroes add enduring and evil to the left side. Keywords remain when the side is replaced. If this saves a hero, I die. I don't think we want that. If this saves a hero, I die. Nah, I'm gonna say no. Why one FF5, why one 6B3 with defy? I guess you are leveling up from a level zero to a level one. I'll take, uh, I'll take defy, defy's great. How many keywords are there that you can only get from shifter? I don't know. Um, I think there are ways to get any keyword in the game, but the thing is there are like, there are literally all of these keywords. And a lot of them are unused. I don't know if you can get these ones at all. There's hyena times two versus targets with whom our HP is co-prime. What? <laughs> Excuse me? What the hell does that mean? And uh, share, target gains all my keywords. And squish. And swap cruel and self regen. Oh, I guess you can get, you can get locked unused keywords from shifter. So I guess all of these are the ones you can get. Like, uh, heal, hyena. Wait, heal is, you? I guess heal is not a keyword. Interesting. Anyways. Strange gate. <laughs> Strange fun game. Prime means it means they share no prime factors. I know what it means, it's just like, why is that a keyword? <laughs> it makes no sense. Good. Good. So defy will do three damage. So you're dying. Stop you. Smack you. You're almost dying. Let's keep let's keep you alive. Rip to n2.c83. Oh, I have another attack. But the fanatics are dead, it's just the golem. He might flee. We're lucky. Nice. Scepter, replace left side with one damage lead. Whiskey. I don't like Scepter. I, I always try to use it and just fail to use it appropriately, but I guess Scepter with one damage range duplicate stasis might be okay, except it's stasis, so it's not gonna affect it. I'm just gonna go for random. Demon Horn, replace the rightmost side with heal two, boost, inflict pain. Oh, I actually, you know what? Oh, it's stasis, so we gotta do it like this. Okay, yeah. You get all of the weird stuff. I would love a self-redirect keyword says lightning bugs. Like, redirect enemies onto yourself? How does that, how does that work? <laughs> it's a lot of damage. A lot of it is because the imp is doing eight damage on death. So actually, I like this, because we can make Cleave do three damage, and then we can heal it. No, we can actually block Inflict Pain with this. It's not gonna kill everything, but like, so what? Still does good damage. Doesn't kill the imp though. So th we'll do this. Now you're living. Oh, gets so close to death. I think we gotta take him out. 
I actually don't know if I can, now that I think about it. I don't have the damage. I can get him down to one. Goodbye, Y156C. Actually, what if we just do it without him attacking? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute. No, because that kills you. <laughs> okay, what if we do... Because we gotta, we gotta kill the imp. We gotta kill the imp doing this. So smack. How are you taking so much damage? Oh, because you're hitting the spiker. That's why you're taking so much damage. Just don't hit the spiker, and then you'll live. There we go. I thought he was only taking one. He's taking three because of the, uh, the wide hits. Now, unfortunately, spiker. Ugh, um. Hurting pretty hard. We can just use ranged to hit him constantly. But everyone's down to one HP and R2 is getting smacked in the face. We might die right here, actually. Unless we roll defy. Defy would help. We didn't get defy. We got a lot of damage, though. <laughs> I can kill everyone but Slimer and Slimelet, and we're left with one person. <laughs> All right, well, I think Spiker is going to have to live then. On the bright side. If it's just Spiker, maybe we can kill him. We can just suicide into him and try to murder him. Fight 11. There's a boss fight coming up next. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is already lethal. No one else has a shield, though. This is growth. Not like it matters. Yeah, no one else has a shield. So, I guess I'm just gonna die. And then you're gonna have low health against Baron. Baron's not a bad fight. Reroll the class of O2? No, thank you. I like O2. Five damage left? That's pretty good. I like Defy though, oh, but I guess we can level you up? Yeah, I like that more. Another attack potentially you can use. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if we roll... Um... Plus one use. Keep trying to drag this. Boost and then lock it in. So you can cleave for two. Honestly, I still like it on exert, honestly. If we can actually roll it. Alright, let's give it a go. Baron's not too bad as long as we kill him quickly. The six damage from each ghost really sucks, and they're just focusing you. Well, I can't keep you alive, so you're dead. Rip. Um good luck. Roll defy! Roll defy! You are gonna not live, but you're gonna take one of them out, I think. I mean, can we take out the boss? Yes, we can take out the boss. 
Now I have 10 mana. Actually, you're gonna live. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Is that Rampage or Engage? This is uh, Engage, so it'll do six damage if you roll it. Against an enemy at full health. Excellent. What is this? Duplicate. One damage, shifter, endure, duplicate. This side has a random extra keyword, changes each turn. Does that heal? Heal to boost, inflict pain, stasis. Oh, you can heal. How interesting. Duplicate is pretty good. Copy the left side onto the middle side, braids. Determination in the first turn cannot die. An item that makes someone immune on turn one is pretty good, but braids. We can keep, we can use Ash to keep a keyword now. I think you gotta take that. Because, like, what we could do at a minimum is this we have to inflict pain or inflict exert, which is awesome. But what if we do this? Two damage mana gain cantrip. <laughs> is that Deadpool? We could do this and get shield, heal, three, cleanse. This is four damage steel, just like it was. This is three damage cleave, enduring chain, engage. That's pretty good. And this is also very tempting to me. Never mind. I thought it would be a little bit better than that. <laughs> so, like, that's pretty good if you roll it. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Three damage cleave enduring chain engage. I like it. And we can still keep this combo here. Yeah, I think that's okay. It does kill ghosts. We just have to roll that, is the thing. Oh my god, so much damage coming in. Because if we roll it, we can kill everyone. I like this. Basilisk is taking a turn off next turn. We need to roll better on everyone else, because we have a lot of X's. That kills someone. And that kills someone. So actually, this is not too bad. You're dead. Oops. You're dead. You're dead. You're exerted next turn. You being petrified doesn't matter, actually, which is real nice. I can't save Y2.DEC. Rip. Bud. But that sniper did have your number. There's no way I can save... I can save you. There's no way I could have saved you. I wonder, can we exert again? No, because you're not actually using your side. That's funny, though. Reroll. Good, good. So we can kill the sniper. Yoink! Can also do that. We rolled the cleave. Y2.BF1. 3 damage, self-shield, 2 damage, rampage, 4 damage, 5 shield. I mean, that's just good numbers. I really like Defy, but those are good numbers. And rampage is a nice ability to have. We could make it rampage, self-shield, but I like the cleave. Um, I think I might just go random hero. 9 HP, though. You go from 4 to 9 HP. He is lazy. I'm just gonna random. <laughs> Nine pain, cleave, steal. Okay, well, holy crap. Good luck. <laughs> it's like a one shot on any enemy, but then you just die. It's not bad, it's not bad. We got the cleave immediately, we can buff it. But 
we gotta, if we can chain it though. Ooh. Hmm. That's tempting. If we can chain it, it'll do double damage. So keep that. Keep this. And I think you reroll these and you look for it. Although it's it's not gonna do double damage, but it will do double damage. Right? I think you re for it. You got it. So boost. No, no, no. Cleanse. Boost. Smack. Smack. That's a double kill that also kills the alpha. Yeah, okay, I, I accept that turn. That's a good turn. Because if you cleanse before you do the boost, it doesn't actually inflict pain. Nerd! Ogre blood. Bloodlust to the middle side. I think it's still really good. We could put it on someone else, like Bloodlust Cantrip is really good, but Bloodlust means that even if we cleave people, it's gonna chain and then cleave and then have Bloodlust. But I really like Bloodlust Cantrip too, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it here. All in on Y2384. Yeah, 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 yeah. Numbers, what do they mean? They mean high damage. So that's good, but it's not what we want. This is good. This is good. I think Inflict Exert is really nice. It's like, hold on. I can come close to killing you. I could just kill you, I guess. Like, smack, smack burst. It's really tempting to reroll, isn't it, though? Keep, keep, keep. I regret everything. Please give me my original dice again. You know what? It's still fine. gotta spend everything killing him, but we could kill him. Why <laughs> 2 3 for getting prepped for Prism, says Quark. I don't know what that item is. <laughs> Nine damage. I will take it. I will take it. I will, I will take it. Hold on. Seems pretty good. And then we could just kill him. Let one person die. He'll come back. Y3.ed. Six damage, six damage. That's all you do? That's not bad. Or N3.6E7 with a three damage cleave and one damage. And one damage plague. Plus one pip for each poison on all characters times one damage pip. I mean, I think I just want the damage even though you only have two faces. That's pretty good. Six and six. Like your job is just hitting. Add three extra archers for anchor, tankard, and leather vest. I'm gonna decline because it's a boss fight. Can you spam tactics? You can, but it uses the dice completely. So you would only be able to plague five times. Actually, that seems really good. <laughs> All right, you know what? I think I should have taken that in consideration because that would have been a very smart idea now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Quinn, times five if, if this has the same pips as the four previously used dice this turn. I'm just gonna keep those. So we could have just rolled one poison and then two poison, four poison, Eight poison, 16 poison. We could have applied 16 poison very quickly, huh? That'd be cool. Wish I did it. This turn sucks, by the way. We're also gonna get insane weaken from everyone. 
five damage top and bottom weaken, three damage weaken, three damage weaken. I think we're dead. Who's gonna be available to attack next turn? Freaking no one. And then you're gonna hit for 10 damage inflict death. I guess I can exert you. And please roll cleave. Oh no. He did it. I mean, that's pretty good. Now you're exerted. You did kill one of my people, but. Thankfully, I rolled something. Lucky. Pips are randomized between 0 and X. So it doesn't actually do anything on this turn. What a waste! What a... What a waste. I think I just pass. I don't, I don't think I use that. I think I save it. Or when it becomes better in the future. You're gonna summon one slate. Thank you for taking a turn off. Run. Times three, if this forms a straight of length three with the dice used before it this turn. If I roll a one, this would do six damage. Or, bear with me, buff it to four, then hit for three, then this does 12 damage. But you have pain now! <laughs> I gave you 12 pain. I can't keep you alive from that. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's still pretty good, though. I mean... We'd have to kill a slate. We can probably kill a slate. Never mind, he's dead. You can have 13 health, you can live. Eh. Probably should have shielded him. It would have worked, I think. Plus one to all damage pips, weaken in pain to the top and bottom. I will take plus one to all damage, because it seems really good on pretty much anybody. But uh, I'm going to give it to you. Cantrip's better, more mana. Better shifter. Could put it on the, the cleave guy, but I think he doesn't need it. We just have to roll it. Moxie. What the hell is Moxie? Times two if I have the least HP of all. All right. One damage cleave. One damage ranged. No, no, no. We want to reroll the rest of this. I hate the chomp being here. Six damage, I accept. Three damage, engage. That's another six damage. I mean, we have six damage, six damage, six damage. And one mana. <laughs> All right, not the best roll. Um, can I kill both chomp and fanatic? Probably not. Let's start here. That'll kill you. Stop feeding! I can't even kill you, but you're gonna at least kill yourself. I'm like, okay, how the hell do we do this? Kill a troll, maybe? Two people die. Kill Fnatic. One person dies. All right, I guess I can live with this. He did roll X after all. We gotta, we don't have a lot of healing. We don't have a gray unit. You only have three heal, which is not the best. Kinda like this turn. Oops. 
Lose three heroes during your turn. <laughs> it killed three of them. <laughs> Oops. Lose two heroes during your turn unlocks Glass Helm. Can I do it again? Is there another achievement? No, okay. Okay, why don't we start... <laughs> start... I don't want the, that much pain though, but it is very funny to get a kill. Start with this. Then we can balance. No, we can't balance. We gotta burst first. Smack. Heal. Now it's only one person dying. We gotta find a way to kill this troll eventually. I think that, uh, I think we can keep this and this. I think we re-roll these three. Good, good, good. Okay, now. It's, how do you still die? How much damage are you taking? Why are you dying? Okay, now you have chain, which is awesome. Six damage? Pain, I take six damage. You're taking way more than six. Now you're taking six. Why were you not taking six before? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta understand this, I think. I take five damage. You have nine health. Why? You think it's from engage? If I hit the troll, you have five, six, seven, eight, nine HP. You die. I think it's, I think it's actually. Like, so if I hit the troll and then I hit, hit the troll, we live with three HP. If I hit the chomp, we live with three HP. So is it doing five and then five? I'm taking 10 because I'm hitting both units. I don't, I don't understand. Five damage cleave, pain. I take five damage. Why are you taking more than five damage? I know I'm taking two from the chomp, but it still shouldn't be killing me. See, right now, if I hit the chomp, I take, you have nine HP. Now you have three. You took six damage? I, <laughs> no, but this is doing six now because of the bloodlust, but now you're taking six damage because, why are you taking six damage? <laughs> I don't understand why this is lethal. I really don't. It's like, because they both have the same HP, the pain is triggering twice, but by hitting the troll, they don't. So the pain only triggers once, I think. It's very strange. Because right now we have seven HP and we take six. Now, right now we have nine and we take 10. Because we should be taking five. If Chomp's killing us, that means we should be taking seven, but we actually have eight health. So why is, why is he dying? I, I don't understand it at all. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack the troll. <laughs> that way he lives off of his pain. We still kill the chomp, and we still kill the troll. It's just, I don't understand it, but there you go. Both are engaged, it does 10.
but it doesn't matter which enemy I target is the thing. It doesn't matter which enemy I target, it does the same amount of damage to me. Even if one isn't full, it only does five. But I'm killing the... Anyways, it, look, it doesn't matter. <laughs> o2. 1b9 can become O3c7e. Mana gain and double use. Or Y3. 4, 8, A. I really love the cleave. I don't want to dump it. So I will upgrade to a double use attack with mana gain. We lose shifter too, but I'll go for it. You still get plus one pip to damage sides, which is nice. It could be a good unit to have a... Uh, a double use move on because we can get double use mana gain, but ah, whatever. It's because you kill the bottom green guy when engaging the chomp. It still doesn't make sense mathematically because if the chomp, so the, the dude had three HP, chomp would have done five to him, which meant that two damage would overflow to the yellow unit who had nine HP, who was taking six pain damage, so he should only be taking eight damage, but he was only taking six. Look, I've already forgotten, <laughs> but something about the order of operations was not clear. It doesn't get mana gain? No, but it would get double use. Oh, you know what? You're right. Mana gain is not a keyword on this side. I'm, I'm thinking about the incorrect keyword optimization. Uh, in that case, I'm going to give... Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna I just want to put like plus one damage on you hold on where's the damn cart two damage duplicate is nice I could put pain on someone else I suppose put it on you and then we just re-roll this for either the duplicate or the uh, the inflict exert, which is nice. But I want to get the cleave so we can get the chain. Okay, you know what? Do this. Do. Do the bloodlust. Plus one damage. Single use. I don't know, I don't think it actually matters, does it? I guess we can have two mana. Once. Stop. God damn it, okay. Equip the cart, put this, put this. There you go, stop. Every time I unequip the cart, it just unequips everything else. Wow, that's a lot of damage. They all rolled middle, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Okay, well that sucks. Um, hopefully we roll some uh, sick damage. Actually, we can stun the Wiz, at least. One HP. We're one HP away from killing a troll. Aw, oh, what a troll. Wait a minute. Cleave chain? We plan cleave chain? Why did I feel like for a second that I had a, a chain that I was not paying attention to? Nope. Oh no. Um, well, I guess the question is who do we keep alive? You! Congratulations. You're the only person who I can keep alive, actually. Well, that sucked. That's the curse killing us right there. The plus one to all middle columns. They hit it real freaking hard, and we're probably gonna die. Wait, no, we're good. We're gonna, we're gonna live because we can just smack them. Fight 19, Emerald Mirror. Gain the effects of all tier six to eight items on other heroes, or fumble and plus three pips to the middle column. 50% chance to be blank each turn. What if you, oh, 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 oh. Stasis 
and then plus three. You just get plus three on the middle column, which means you can put it here, take off Bloodlust, put on Stasis, put on Enduring, and I need more item slots, I'm realizing. Gain the effects of tier six to eight items. Let's look. Braids, Ogre Blood, Gauntlet. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Braids, Ogre Blood, Gauntlet. So we could copy, Bloodlust, and Duplicate and have more damage. On O3, that's not bad. Two four mana sides is pretty sick. Wait, what? Oh, on, on this? Put it here? I mean, I'm thinking... Like, five damage cleave with the double damage coming in. The mana's good, but also the damage is pretty good. If we take that, we could put it... It would be... Plus three, then stasis. Maybe O3? No, these people don't get names. They're random. <laughs> this is a tough call, because these are both good. Emerald Mirror would... I mean, we can actually use Emerald Mirror right now and, and figure out what it would look like. You know, this is what that would look like. This is what this would look like. Four damage, double use, bloodlust is pretty decent. This would be the same. This would be similar. It's like, that's pretty solid. But plus three pips... Yeah, it would actually go pretty well on R2. Just giving you four mana, four mana, and then like a heal six cleanse. These are our six to eight. So we have Gauntlet, plus one pip damage. Bloodlust on middle side. And Braids, copy the left onto the middle side. So that's good. We can keep this. We can keep this. I think we could go for some more mana. I think that's a, a problem we're having right now. Not a lot of mana gain. Damage is fine. So I'm gonna take Spike Stone. Put it there. Put that on there as well. Put this on here. Now these will never be fumbled because they're stasis. And also this one is extra damage. Now this means that uh, our Inflict Exert is single use, but who cares? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this seems pretty good, actually. I could make the arrows do two damage, but I'd rather have the cleave. Do uh, who cares if the cleave does one? Yeah, this is fine. All right, I like it. Arrows do two damage. Could you not hit this hard on turn one? Good. Everything else re-rolls. Good. What can I do with this? I can kill a zombie. That's pretty good. Hey, Mud. Thank you for the resub. How you doing? Mud X loves. Kaka. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Trevor. I guess we oh, we can't kill the spiker. He's gonna live. Who can we kill? Kill the zombie. <clears throat> Two people are dying. We need to, I mean, we need to roll better here and here. I love the four mana. I love the two mana as well, but Heal six is pretty good. Take it, take it, take it. Reroll. We got the man. We also got uh, Inflict Exert, which is nice. So smack. 
Kill. Kill. Actually, that kills. First burst, you live. It's just three fanatics. Why three dies? Goodbye, Ed. That's not too bad. I mean, we're guaranteed to live because the fanatics literally can't kill me before they die. <laughs> Which is always nice. It's always nice. Yeah, okay, that's a pretty good roll. I don't really want you to die, though. I just want you to kill him. Cleave, Enduring, Chain, Bloodlust, Engage. All right, final fight. One more level up. R2 can become R3. Better man again. SR3.add. Heal three for one mana. That's incredible. N2 can become N3. We're against the hand, which is really nice. 1x, one pip side for three damage. Revive allies. One damage single use times two. Target ally cannot die. Good, but I think we just want to upgrade R2 to R3. It's a great heal. We get to keep this cool combo. And now we have five mana gain? Why is that six? And Stasis side cannot change. How come this makes it worse? <laughs> what? Order? Oh, because of the hand! It costs us one to put this on. I still think you'd do it. Because then you don't fumble. And five man is already pretty good. That is very funny. All right, continue. Roll cleave. It'll kill the sabers. One saber's already dying. He's going to summon four sabers, by the way. So let's exert him. We rolled it! Kaka! <laughs> Eudosaurus! Thank you for the resub! Kaka! We rolled it! They're dead! They're dead! And I can heal up to full. And this guy, he's not doing anything next turn, but there are gonna be four sabers, so this fight's gonna suck. We need to roll the cleave again. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. I mean, that's a cleave. That's a cleave. I mean, that's four damage. That's not the cleave, though, but it is eight damage. Oh, we rolled excess. But we rolled a three damage ranged as well. Okay. So, here's the question Do we go for the hand? We have to kill the minions before the fight ends, unfortunately. Probably kill the sabers then. Four damage. Oh, that doesn't save us any damage. You know? No one's dying. That's not too bad. All right. It's gonna be two. Sa He's gonna summon four more sabers. You are your garbage. Kill the topmost enemy. That's I, I don't I don't remember seeing that before. Um, I really don't want you to summon this many sabers. Done. Done. Here's the thing. It's not that bad of a turn. I mean, people are living. Life is pain, but, you know, we're making progress. He's not killing me yet. We just gotta roll cleave every time. Okay, seven damage to everyone sucks. <laughs> roll cleave. If you don't, we're dead. That is not the cleave I meant. That's not the cleave I meant. Can we kill him? 12? Nope. He's living, by the way. 
All right. Well, um, there's one gone. There's another one gone. You live, you live, you live. R3 and Y2 die? Dude, we're gonna die to the hand. He's just hitting too hard. He's hitting ev he's hitting for what seven times six? 42? He's hitting for 42 damage. And he kept summoning infinite sabers. The generated spell is heal three. <laughs> so it's not that good right now. The cleave doesn't kill him though, because I mean we need more damage on the cleave to kill him. So I'm like, okay. Y2 is dead. And I think O3 is also dead. They're taking the most damage. If I kill both sabers, Y3 lives. Sorry, R3 lives. So I think we go here and here. And then first, first, first. Oh, I gotta save another person. Hold on. I might not be able to keep him alive, actually. One, two, three. Alive, alive, alive. I thought I could keep more people alive, so let me let me try something different. Oops. Okay. Yeah, only R3 is actually dying in this combo. Ugh, I hate it. We killed two sabers that were exerting, but I hate it. Salve moment. No, this does, it doesn't heal him. Careful health. It looked like she just died, like straight up. There was no animation there. <laughs> um, okay, now you're hitting three people for 11 each. Kinda hate it. You have to roll cleave. That's as good as it gets. That's as good as it gets. You have to roll cleave. Okay, <laughs> the good rolls, good rolls, everybody. Well, you know, hold on. Okay, only three people are dying this turn. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hit everyone for seven. I can hit you for, I can hit you for 10. Or I can hit you for six. All right, that was a good run. We needed block, which we didn't have because we didn't have a gray hero. We needed more HP on our units. We needed damage. We needed, I don't know, more effects. <laughs> the uh, like incoming 80 damage turns uh, sucked, <laughs> but that's a fun generate run. It's just a random run with random characters. R3 add. Y3 add. Like, I, six damage is good, but it doesn't do that much. It can't even kill one saber, and he's summoning four per turn. Some of that is because we had Monster Column 1, but he'll still summon three sabers per turn, you know. Rip us! Fun run attempt, though. We even used the exert, and we didn't get a lot of value out of it, because we had to spend the second turn killing the, uh, the adds. If he, if he spent the first turn attacking, I think we would have had a better chance because turn two we could have uh, could have gone for him instead of the adds. Also, rolling the cleave. Didn't roll it as much as we needed to. Fun run, though. And for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch or when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slice and Dice.